Hi everyone, myself Harsha. Uh, I am Praga trainer at Harsha Trainings. And in today's video, I am going to explain you about what is property optimization and what is the purpose of property optimization for a single value property. So watching this video will give you clear idea about understanding of property optimization and its backend changes, everything in detail. And before we proceed to the video, so we are going to start a new batch on Pega training starting from May 31st of this month and the timings will be morning 8 am to 9 am IST India timings. If you are any of one of your connections, if they are looking for Pega training, please reach out to us on the number that is displayed on this video. Before we proceed to watch the video, don't forget to subscribe our channel and if you have any questions or any doubts related to Pega on any topic or if you are attending interviews and you need answers for any of the uh, difficult questions or scenario based questions that you have faced during interviews, please post your questions or doubts in the comment sections of this video. Let's discuss about property optimization concept. See, whenever we are going to make a transaction by creating a work object, the entire work object data is going to get stored into work table. In that, PY ID, PX create date time, PX create operator, PX update date time, PX update operator, all these columns will be there in the table. All these columns will be there. Okay, let me show you that. Postgres kind of password. Entry table name in post post screens tables data and then tables and what is that uh, table name? Okay, any table work table any work table, but what is our work table? CNA no? CNA auto work. implementation table. Let's go with. View data first 100 rows. And here, PX create date time, PX commit date, PX save date, PX create date time, update date time. Similarly, PY ID column also will be there. All these are normal columns, okay, in a database. But there is one column called PZPV stream. What is the column name? PZPV stream. So this column is going to have part of the work object data related to in every screen and all. But the data will be stored in blob format, right? So first name, last name, age, gender, related to customer details and personal vehicle details, commercial vehicle details, transaction details, in that agency details, policy details, insurance details, and loss, loss inspection details. All the data, entire data is getting stored into this table only. I mean like this column only, PJPV stream. Means first name, last name, everything is there in this particular column along with values. Now I wanted to write a write an activity using OBJ browse method to fetch the data from this work table. Some of the details of the work object I wanted to fetch. For that, I am going to create an activity now. So in the work class, I am going to create an activity, technical activity, and the activity name is test. And here, what is the method to be used? To be used OBJ browse. Expand this page name page one let's say and class is work class and the columns i want to fetch are work object id that is py id column and first name first name column. these two columns i want to fetch for that i have written obj browser and saved successfully so now i wanted to add where condition so where PY ID starts with C dash only. Only work object ID starting with C dash I want to fetch. For that, I have added a where condition. I saved it. It got saved successfully. Similarly, I want to go with first name also. First name starts with H and then save. Now I am getting an error message. I mean, like process command is throwing an error message. What is the error message that it is throwing? Only exposed properties can be selected in the where class you are trying to use some of the properties in the where class out of which it is saying only exposed the term exposed 
are optimized both meaning same only optimized properties or exposed properties should be used in the where class normal properties you can make it part of select but if you add a condition it will throw error message it is not even allowing you to create activity with where condition having unexposed properties and unoptimized properties see py id i did not get an error message py id also has where condition what is the reason py id column is present as an exposed column where is it this is the column this is a normal column regular exposed column or optimized column we call it but first name is not present anywhere as exposed column first name is part of first name is part of blob where is it pz pv stream inside pz pv stream it is there if you are trying to use the properties which are from inside pz pv stream uh, in the where conditions it will throw an error message saying exposed properties cannot be now i am going to expose the property so for this to avoid issue let us expose first name property so that is what exposing the property or optimizing property both means same the property which you want to optimize right click on the property optimize for reporting and just let's go ahead and click on next next by choosing the options for implementation table also and click on next next and finish there is a wizard for optimization finished completed now what happens after i do an optimization for a property using the wizard what is exactly been happening but before that what is the need of optimization the need of optimization is if we wanted to retrieve if we wanted to retrieve the data from a table by using obj browse and if you want to use where conditions in the where condition you want to use some properties right so if you are writing an obj browse method using where condition all the properties that you are using in the where condition must be optimized otherwise it will throw compilation error understand so to use the properties in the where conditions of obj browse we must optimize the properties if already not been okay now you go to the table this is the work table right this was old one like verification is the last column let me refresh this i mean like requery this requery or refresh now you see let me maximize it the last one now you see one more column has got added by name same name as the property so optimization wizard when i run the optimization wizard exactly what is happening a new column is getting created in the table with same name as property name in 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 the other way i can tell you this first name was already present in the table or not where it is it where it was present inside blob so it is taking from inside blob and creating a new column and also data is also retrieved or not data what data is also been retrieved so the data that is there inside blob has also been retrieved and added into first name column so this particular property optimization wizard is performing two tasks one is creating a column with same name as table name and also fetching the data what is already present in the blob into a new column the newly created column that is also been added all this will be done internally by a job called column population job what is the job name column population job will be doing this tasks so optimization the need of optimization is to use the properties in the obj browse of activity for where conditions and after optimization is been done a new column will get created and the data from blob will be retrieved and added into new column now this first name is there in two places it is already there in blob plus a copy is been exposed outside okay when i am trying to fetch the data it will always look at the exposed column not the blob inside blob it will not look at understand everyone clear so this is about this is about optimization concept but now i have optimized a single value property i have optimized a single value property means a property which holds only one value what if if you are going to optimize the properties which are part of page list which are part of 
fail this. That is one more thing we need to discuss. But before we proceed to that, I'll tell you about report definition. OBJ Browse equivalent is report definition, right? Let's go to report definition, try the same. Now last name is not optimized, right? Let's try on last name. Reports, report definition, and the name of the report definition is test. And here, I wanted to fetch PYID, first name, last name. last thing all this i wanted to fetch and i want to make a where condition based on last name is equal to something and i'll try to save it is getting saved successfully let's wait it is getting saved successfully it is not throwing any compilation error even though i am using an unoptimized properties in the select and where clauses it is not throwing compilation it is allowing you to create will be able to create but obj browse if you are using in the where condition and optimized properties it will throw compilation error itself it will not allow you to create understand that is the difference but starting from paga 7 onwards they made a change in the report definition rule to avoid compilation error but paga 6 and before it is same as obj browse even the report if you are using unoptimized property in the where class it will throw it used to throw compilation error from pega 7 they removed it for some reasons i don't know now you see here if you are using unoptimized pro properties that will result into poor performance if you are creating only one report only one person is executing a report there are few properties you don't face any performance issues but in the real business when n number of transactions are going on and executed are requested by n number of requesters then you will see the real impact of the performance so in a business system so that's why it is not a best practice to use unoptimized properties in report definition so in order to use the properties in the where clauses or select clause of report definition as well as in the where clause of obj browse method the practice is always you optimize the properties which you want to use and then you make use of those properties in the respect to rules that is the need of optimization so so far i have told about optimizing single value property then what about optimizing page list properties 